Good morning everyone. We are waiting for Anthem to come in. So far Prima is very slowly working away into the docks and we've just spotted Anthem not far behind her and Sarah's getting very very excited. She's getting probably a little bit emotional, I don't know. <laughs> There's Anthem, cruising along at a nice steady pace, ready to dock. So I was getting very excited about it, watching her coming in. There she is, looking fabulous. And we will be somewhere, where's my finger? Over here on her. I've started my day with a nice shower and a cup of tea. Carl is still monging on the bed, waiting for him to get a shower and stuff. And uh, we'll go down for some breakfast, get ready to pack up the car and keep an eye out on when we can get into the docks, parked up, cases dropped and on the ship, which will be very exciting. We've now checked out of the hotel and we are just relaxing until um, we get on the ship. There's not really a lot we can do now. It's still a few hours before we can get on board. But yeah, almost there. I haven't got sunglasses on at the minute, so I am going blind. Uh, we parked up the car. We've given our cases over to the attendants who will take them over straight to the ship. But it's going to be a while because not everybody's turned up yet. And there she is. That there is our baby for a week. And uh, we're really going to enjoy this cruise with, uh, on board Anthem. I'm going to go find Carl and Sarah, which looks like they've already buggered off. So I am not needed in any way. And yeah, it's going to be great. So we're through security, got checked in. We're now sitting in the waiting area to go in. And this dickhead decided to embarrass me in front of the security ladies by saying, saying to me, don't forget your book plug. She looked at me like really confused with the smile on her face and I went, oh my God, I am so sorry for that. Uh, I said, that is really embarrassing. And she went, and he just walked away. I went, yeah, and he just walked away. He is really happy with himself. So, yeah. So right now I'm walking onto the ship and I'm gonna get Carl and Sarah's reaction when they first board. There you are, you're on. Look, you're on a ship. <laughs> you're on it. How are you feeling? I'm just excited. Very bit of everything, yeah? Bit in awe. Bit lost for words at the minute. <laughs> so we need to go that way. No. Nope. The, yeah, they won't be open yet. in our cabin we are all unpacked feels like home it is a different layout this time the settee is by the balcony door and the bed is over that side whereas when we was on anthem prior it was the other way around and time before that it was what it is now that is absolutely fine we're not bothered 
I just like uh, how they mix things up a bit, you know? Laying low, no place to go. Sunlight dances through the window. Lazy haze fills up the room. Got no plans, just me and you. Time slows down when you're around. Feel the rhythm of our hearts bound. In the quiet, we find a groove. Lost in love, no need to move. It's a love, no need to move. It's a lazy weekend, just you. Stains on the table. Lazy kisses, we're unable to escape this cozy bubble where we're lost in each other's troubles. Time slows down when you're around. Feel the rhythm of our hearts bound. In the quiet, we find a groove. Lost in love, no need to move. It's a love, no need. It's a lazy weekend, just you and me, wrapped up in blankets under We've just had some food in Cafe 270, which is mine and Carl's favourite place to eat food besides the Sloan Bistro. He's already met, or rather come across, another entitled idiot. He thinks that because he's in a suite, he's entitled to push into lines, so yeah. We're gonna go get Carl his first ice cream at the cruise and we know he's really going to enjoy it but we have to go to the Bionic bar so that he can sample some of the drinks there. heading to dinner in the main dining room we're not in silk this time we're in a different one which we've never been in before because the last two times we've been on anthem it's been silk so this will be different for a change so it's just shy of 10 o'clock and i am ready for bed i am actually going to bed because the last two days i've not slept a lot and it's catching up on me now so tomorrow is a sea day and we are going to do the bump cars so that'd be really nice but until then we're gonna rest up and let the fun commence tomorrow <laughs> 